we're going to go on to start drawing your form. So open your book. And the first form we're going to learn to draw are rectangular prisms. Rectangular prisms start with a rectangle. They're like a box. They're like a box. So, to draw your rectangular prism, I want you to first step, write down the steps. Number one is to draw a rectangle or a square if you're making a cube. A cube is a rectangular prism. So, for this first one, draw a rectangle. Try to draw lightly. I'm drawing dark so you can see, but you need to draw lightly. Step two is three diagonal lines. So I'm going to see the top and the right side of this one. So I'm going to draw a diagonal up and to the right, up and to the right, up and to the right. They need to go the same direction and be about the same length. So I'm going to measure using my pencil. I'm going to put the point at the corner and I'm going to put my thumb where that line ends. And I'm going to compare that one. That one's a little bit short, so I'm going to draw that one a little longer. And that one, that one's about right. So this one needs to go just a little bit longer. Step three is to draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. Horizontal means straight across. So I'm going to connect these two. And vertical means up and down. So I connect those two. Now I need to shade. For this one, the light's going to come from the above left. So the very top of, the of this rectangular prism, I'm going to use the side of my pencil. So I'm going to take my pencil out of my drawing hand for right now, open my drawing hand, place it, my pencil in the palm of that drawing hand, and then I'm going to wrap my hand around it so that the point, my pointer finger is towards the tip of the pencil. Not at the very tip, because I don't want my pencil, my finger on top of it, just towards the tip. And then I'm just going to use the side, and I'm very lightly going to shade this top of the box. Very lightly. This is my lightest side. Okay. Now if the light's coming from up here, the light is going to hit this one next. So this is, is going to be a little bit darker. So I just kind of build it up a little bit darker. I don't need to get real dark. This is just a little bit darker. I don't want to get too dark too fast. Try to be neat on your edges. Try to keep it even all the way across for your value. Be neat on my edges. I'm going to turn this this way. And if I drew my lines light enough, those lines would, should disappear into my shading. But I drew darker so you could see it. This side that's left is on the right. It's the darkest because the light's coming from the left. So I just need to be the darkest of the three. I don't need to be real dark. I just need to be the darkest out of the three. Turn my page so I get nice, neat edges. Darkest of the three. It doesn't need to be black, but it needs to be darker than the other two. The next one we're going to do is going to be in colored pencil. So you need your color pencil, please. It's going to be kind of the same process. 
So we're not writing any steps, any new steps. This time, I want you to draw lightly your rectangle so it stands up. After you draw your rectangle, you are going, after you draw your rectangle, this time I want to see the top and the left side. So I'm going to go diagonal up and towards the left. Draw lightly. I'm drawing dark so you can see it. Then I measure. Put the tip of my pencil at the end of that line. Then I go to this one. It needs to be just a little bit longer. And I go to this one. That one's good. So I extend that one that was a little bit short. Now I'm going to draw my horizontal and my vertical line. So my horizontal goes back here. And my vertical goes right there. Okay. This time the light's coming from the above right. So, the top is always the lightest because it's coming from above. So, use the side of your pencil, again, and very lightly shade in the top. Try to keep it even. The front is the light coming from this way, so this is closer to the light than this side is. So, this is going to be my medium. This has to be a little bit darker than the previous one. It doesn't need to be real dark. Don't forget I've got another side to go. It's got to be darker. And the last side is going to be the darkest. Next one we're going to draw is going to be laying on its side, and we're going to see the bottom and the left side. So give yourself room for the bottom and the left side. So a rectangle laying on its side. And we're going to see the bottom and the left side. So this time we're going to go down and to the left. Again, you need to try to make sure they are equal measurements for those diagonals. Draw your vertical. Try to draw lightly so the lighting disappears. So the lines disappear when you shade. Now for this one, I'm going to make the light come from the above left. So this time this side is my lightest using the side of my pencil. The front side is my medium. So it has to be a little bit darker. So 
a light spot over there, so I gotta make it look just a little bit darker. You don't need to press real hard with these. Just build it up gradually with layers. And then the bottom is the darkest. Last one, going back to your regular pencil. So we've seen the top and right, and the top and left. We've seen the left and bottom. Now we're going to see the left and, or sorry, the bottom and right. So last one to draw. We'll make this a vertical one again. Draw lightly so you can see it disappear when you do your shading later. So we said bottom and right. So if I want bottom and right, it's got to go down and to the right. Measure them to make sure they're about equal. Okay. Draw your vertical line and your horizontal line. And the light's going to come from the above right. So this side gets the light first. So this is going to be my light. Make sure you're using the side of your pencil and lightly shade that in. Try to keep it even. This will be my medium. The bottom is always the darkest because for our situation, we're always going to have the light coming from above right or a bottom or above left. So that means that the light's going to hit the bottom the least amount. my medium value. Notice I turn the page however I need to to get it colored in. 